In this video, I'm gonna show you guys my flagpole setup, which is right above me right here. I have the antenna all the way up there, you guys. I just bought a better antenna. I have an eight DBI right now. I bought a 10 DBI, so we're gonna be switching it out. We just had some rain here in San Diego, so I think it messed me up. So I haven't earned any HNT within the last three days. So I wanna get that back up there. I didn't have it waterproof, so that's one of the things that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna switch, I'm gonna be switching out the antennas. I'm gonna waterproof it and then i'm gonna show you guys i bought a different lmr of 400 cord versus the 600 if you guys can see it this one's a little bit thicker than the lmr 400 this is the 600 i got it off of ebay uh, as the current moment uh, amazon is not selling the 600 so maybe in the future they will but the thing is i kind of messed up and i didn't get the right connection when i first ordered it so i'm going to show you guys inside I, I do have the miner it goes all the way inside the house i'm going to be showing you guys the whole setup but the thing is i had to buy like an extension cord and then i think that's where uh i'm losing a bunch of dbi i'm, I'm just losing but i didn't want to say that i've already earned 150 h and t and so that's about that's about in six and a half months that i've earned that so the setup was real nice i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like over here i do have a nice view and uh i'm at the top of the hill in my backyard in my front yard it's just like kind of a, a plain uh, street view but in the backyard i do have a view of uh, a lot of houses so i think the 10 dvi is going to be the ticket to get more earnings of hnt so let's get started so i did want to show you guys the flagpole it's a 20 foot flagpole and it's in four different sections this is how it looks when i connect them i did have some uh, duct tape on here and i just had the duct tape so it's not rotating so it's not a big deal the duct tape doesn't just hold it together it just kind of keeps it from rotating which it probably won't but just want to be safe and uh so what i got going on here is i have these metal zip ties and i have the the very bottom of the base of the flagpole um just pretty much locked in from the bottom so you guys can see i got a couple of the different uh, metal zip ties so the bottom base is on there it's nice and strong and then so that makes it so it's not that wobbly it does get windy in san diego so sometimes it could move like you guys can see it moving a little bit but that's not a big deal right there so i'm going to be taking this down and i'm going to show you guys my new setup Some air time, camera time. <laughs> so I just want to point out that I got the, I forget what it's called, but it's like the double wall. It's the reinforced flagpole. It's not like the flimsy one. This is the real good one. You want to get this one because the other one I've seen the reviews and like sometimes they bend and break. So this is the good one. We're going to detach this and then I'll show you guys what we had hooked up and what we're going to be hooking up. Yeah, so this is, look how small <laughs> this antenna is right here. This is the one I got from eBay. And uh, it didn't really even have a bracket like the one that I bought now does. It kind of has a little flimsy one. And we had it on here by plastic zip ties and then this metal reinforced zip tie. I do have the lightning arrestor right here. We're going to take that off so you guys could see that. So this is the new LMR 400, right? This is the N-type male. And it does have the little screw right there. And if you look all the way in the middle, it's pointy and it's not hollowed out. So that means it is the male. And then this is the RP sma and this connects directly to the miner bobcat rack whatever you guys got that connects directly into that rp reverse polarity and so that'll connect right to it so i did want to show you guys the difference between the 400 and the 600 so if you guys could see it side by side right there this is the 600 that's on the pole currently and then this is the 400 lmr 400 so we're going to replace that and then i want to show you guys why i had a bunch of loss at the very bottom of this cord so this is what I was talking about earlier about the wrong connection on this side. So I had to buy this like adapter. So I, I'm able to screw in here and he, and then this goes into my rack miner, right? So this I think loses a bunch of DBI, it loses power. So I just want to switch this out to the real one that we got. I bought this uh, early on and I just, uh, you know, bought the wrong connection. So make sure you guys are buying the right connection. And of course you guys, I'm going to be linking everything in the description box below. It's going to be one link and it's going to have all these products. You guys, this is the lightning arrestor that I got also from Amazon. And this is the best one that I found so far. If you guys find another one, let me know in the description box, of course, or in the comment area, I mean. Okay, so this one is a N-type male on this side. You can see the pointy end. 
and then this is an n-type female okay and then this is where the grounding wire goes i have awg 12 but i was told that awg 10 is a little bit bigger and it'll fit in there better but uh, i'm working with what i have i didn't order a new part so we're going to work with the awg 12 today so all we have to do is we have our uh, thank you uh, pat for holding it he wants camera time there's his mm -hmm. camera time so all we have to do is screw this in here and then you guys seen that I have it on that flagpole, so it's not like I need help to get it down. So I want to make sure this is as tight as possible. And then I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to weatherproof it, not like last time. So like I mentioned, you guys, I did have, this is the 8 DBI. It's 915 megahertz. That's what it is in the U.S. So um, if you guys are not in the U.S., just check where you guys are at. This is a... 5.8 let me show you guys this is kind of my backup i want to i want to try the the 10 dbi and then this is the 5.8 it's nice and small and uh i'm going to probably try this out if i don't like the earnings from the 10. so let me show you guys the 10. this is the big boy right here and you guys can see it also comes with a backup but like this is super thin let me compare it to the LMR 400. So to see how thin that is, you guys are gonna have more loss, okay? So I recommend the LMR 400. And like I said, look at this puppy right here. Let's bring him out. Okay, so this is the uh, 5.8 and then this is the 10. So with the 10, I'm gonna be shooting uh, further distance. You guys seeing how it looks from my backyard. So hopefully I'm gonna be able to hit more people, more beacons, equals more HNT, equals more money. So let's put this one on now. So this 10 DBI, you guys, this is the N-type female. It does look like a male, but if you look all the way in there, it's hollowed out in that center. So we're gonna be able to connect the male N-type right into it, just like so. Okay, that's a nice tight fit right here. We gotta do the grounding wire next. And then uh, what you wanna do is, I'll show you guys, but you wanna have the flagpole a little bit below here. You want clearance on here. That way it's not blocking at all. Uh, if you guys seen when I pulled the other one off, it had a little bit blockage at the bottom because the pole was covering it. So I want 360, 360 degrees. So we wanna pull it down to here. I'm working with the 12 gauge right here for the grounding wire. And so we're supposed to put it all the way in there. Okay, and then this is a little wire cutter, a little fancy tool. So what I did is I cut it and I stripped it, just that back end. I'm gonna make this go all the way in. And then we're gonna clamp this little red part right here, this little plastic red part. So it locks it down, but I'm also gonna be using zip ties to secure this, and then I'm gonna put some sealing tape over it. All right, you guys, so that's the first zip tie. We're just securing it so it's not going anywhere, so it's staying in there. And I did wanna point out, if you guys seen my other videos, I appreciate it, and I might be repeating some stuff, but there's new people that keep watching my videos, and I really appreciate it. But uh, I wanna talk about the lightning arrester. So if a lightning bolt hits it, it's probably gonna be in trouble and it might fry your miner, but the point of having it on here in case uh, lightning does strike it, it's not gonna put, it's not gonna get your roof on fire, right? The lightning bolt is gonna travel through the ground wire and it's actually gonna hit the ground. I'm gonna show you guys where I have mine connected because mine's a little bit different connected than uh, the other miner setups that I have going on. Okay, so now that we have the zip ties on, I'm gonna show you guys how I do the waterproofing or the weatherproofing. So I do have the silicone repair tape right here. I just cut a strip out of it. I'm gonna show you guys how this goes on. And it's self adhesive. So we're just gonna be wrapping it around. And like I said, it's gonna weatherproof it just in case rain goes in there. Like that's why I think mine got messed up. So I definitely wanna add this part of it. You just gotta stretch it out and you're pretty much just rolling around with it. If you guys have any tips on how to improve my setup i am all ears i'm not a professional i'm just trying to help you guys out you know so if you guys have any tips to help me out i would appreciate that too okay so we're going getting down to the end all you want to do is stretch it out as much as you can and then you kind of just peel it on top of itself and then just like that we're nice and weatherproof there's nothing coming out so now no rain's going to be able to get in here everything is tight so we are good now we could have put this straight onto the flagpole 
So this is what I was talking about, clearance. You wanna make sure this clears whatever you have on here, whether it's an antenna pole, whether it's a whatever you got, like if you got me like a flag pole, you just wanna make sure it clears so you have that 360 degree. And all I did is just, I just duct taped this real quick. I, I guess I didn't show you also this. All I did is screw this in, but that's not a big deal. Just screw it in so there's clearance. Okay, so now we're actually gonna put the pole back up and then I'll show you my setup inside the house. Jeez. Oh my God. It's about to put you in Americans' funniest videos. Jeez. Get that thing in there. there oh go. my God. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the duct tape real quick? Uh, you guys really almost pet. lost it, but we're good. We're good. All right, you guys, I had a close call trying to put it up there, but check it out now. It's looking good. The homeboy Pat, he likes it. He says it looks better than the other one. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. So what I did is I just zip tied. We zip tied over here. A little bit of a housekeeping that we got going on right here to keep everything nice and together. And then let me show you where I put the cord. Okay, so what I did first is I did a, almost hit my, well, actually I did hit my head. We got a drip loop right here. So the drip loop, just in case if it's raining, the rain is supposed to go and it's supposed to drop at its lowest point. That way water's not getting in here. This is the basement. It's like a half basement, right? It's almost like a crawl space, but a little bit taller. I'll show you guys in a second. So this is the vent for the crawl space. So I threw the cords in here and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the inside. So now we're inside the basement, you guys. This is the grounding wire that we have from the outside. And this is what I'm grounding it with. So this is a copper pipe right here. The copper grounding apparatus. I forget what bracket. this is called. <laughs> it's a bracket. And uh, so I already screwed this in. And all I have to do is I have to put this grounding wire. Hopefully you guys could see, but it just goes into this tube right here. And then all I have to do is screw this in. So the copper's touching the copper. And just like that, it's not gonna be going anywhere. So it is grounded now. And what it is, is the copper piping goes all the way down into the ground. So that is a proper grounding, but you guys check in, uh, you know, whatever state you live in or whatever country you live in to make sure you guys are following regulations. I wanna talk about ethernet cord real quick. You guys, some people say like, oh, wherever my miner's at, it's impossible to get an actual ethernet cord connected. Mine's impossible too, you guys. The garage is in the front of my house and then I'm in the basement all the way in the back of my corner of my house, you guys. I bought a 100 foot ethernet cable. This is a Cat6, so it's good to go. And I connected it, I'll show you guys how it looks, but it's all the way from my garage and then it goes outside, then it comes back inside, but I have it right here. And then I, you guys could see, I have the rack miner. I uh, hopefully I'm gonna get a gold spot and then another a black spot. This is just a regular cow chip miner. So all we do is we go ahead and plug it in like so. So this is the ethernet right here. And then if you guys wanna look over there in that corner, that's where we were at. That's where we threw the cords in. So that's where we threw the cord in for the grounding. You guys, you guys can see right here. And then this is the LMR 400. And this is the RP SMA right here that we're gonna be connecting directly to the miner and you want to make sure that it is not plugged in until you have the antenna and it, you have the ethernet plug everything's good to go then you want to go ahead and plug it in so let me screw it in real quick okay you guys could see it is plugged in and i want to have like a little it's kind of like a drip loop it's not circular but it, it kind of dips down low right I just want it just in case water comes in. I'd rather have it go there instead of actually touching my miner. So I have this little box set up so it's kind of a little bit elevated. So all we have to do now is plug it in over here. And you guys can see I have a surge protector and I like this one because it has a light so you can see if it's on or off. I can kind of poke my head in here and make sure it's on. But I do recommend it that you guys get a smart plug. If you get a smart plug, you could actually control it as long as the Wi-Fi is connected to the smart plug. You could be anywhere in the US or the world. As long as you have internet, you could actually turn it off and turn it on. So what I do, if uh, my troubleshooting, I usually just unplug the miner for a little bit in case you know it unplugs. And that kind of goes back to the ethernet, right? The ethernet, um, ever since I switched to the ethernet, it was working for like, three months straight before i had wi-fi and it was kind of off and on off and on and it would go off a line for a couple of days when i put the ethernet in it was good to go for those three months but except for this last little rainstorm so i think that's what messed it up we'll see but i definitely recommend ethernet because it's a lot faster than the wi-fi wi-fi just think if you're on your phone and you have wi-fi sometimes it cuts in and out 
ethernet's gonna be you know connected so let's go ahead and plug this in you guys can see right here the ethernet it's gonna start blinking in a second that means uh it has internet connectivity and then if we look all the way on this side you can see the red light hopefully you guys can see the red light right there that means it's on so it's I recommend if you guys get a bobcat because you can actually like log in and you guys could do fast sync i can do fast sync with the rack so that's why i recommend you guys getting a bobcat 300 but you guys get whatever you guys feel more comfortable with and then the bobcat you could actually um, get those faster than you can this rack i'm still waiting on my rack miner from Cowchip. so i bought this one off of ebay and i also recommend that because you get it a lot faster yeah you're paying a little premium for it but you guys get it faster and you can start earning hnt just think if i if i didn't buy this one off of ebay uh what was it uh six and a half months ago i wouldn't have anything and i have like i said 150 hnt so far so uh right now hnt is close to the 40 dollar mark um it goes it fluctuates it got up to the 55 dollar mark which was real cool but uh, it also does a little dip to the 30 dollar mark per coin so one of the things i wanted to add do not forget to update your antenna in the helium app so i did not buy one off a of rack i bought mine off of amazon so i have to go into the app you go into custom instead of actually clicking on whatever you have and then i did want to mention that in the us the highest uh, dbi that you could use is nine so you guys did hear me earlier i did buy a 10 dbi but there is loss with the connection that i have the lmr 400 and this is a 30 foot cord i don't know if i mentioned that already but that has a little bit of loss in it and so does the lightning arrester so i'm going to bring it down to night nine dbi and there's websites that you could go on to actually calculate like how much exactly but i think that i'm a little bit above 9 dbi but it's okay we're gonna round down to the 9 mark and then uh yeah you want to have that updated that way you're earning as much hnt as possible so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any input i'm all for it just go ahead and add it in the comment box below if you guys have any questions i'll try to answer it the best i can for you guys i appreciate it do not forget the thumbs up do not forget to subscribe if you guys want to see more videos like this and i'll check you guys out in the next video